Hey guys, it's been a while since I did a video, but I'm going to um, ask the question of um, what is money and um, by today's standards. It's been a while since I did a video because they just passed a new law where you can no longer record video while you're driving, so I haven't been going live as much, but let's get down to it. What is money by today's standards? Well, money is merely a means of control by today's standards. That is what fiat money is. Um, now this is different than what it used to be. Money used to be backed up by something, um, but it's not backed up by anything anymore. So currency, actual currency that's uh, controlled by the government is uh, printed to the rest of the people. It's dispersed to the rest of us. The, the money itself is worthless. The only thing that has value is the agency that, that disperses it. And so the, the dollar really is worthless. The only thing that's backing the dollar up is the government that's issuing, issuing it. And um, so, and that's not what traditional money used to be. Traditional money used to be like commodities or gold or some type of, you know, and, and, and that's why it used to be you could, um, you know, you could uh, get a loan easily for a ranch or a small house or, or a piece of property and over time you um, could pay the loan back through work. Money used to be a lot more valuable than it is now. Fiat currency really is worthless and it's no more just a means of control. You know, the thing is, 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 is the currency is only value, valuable if the people if the people who control, who um, use it consider it valuable. So if the people who uh, use the, the currency no longer consider the currency valuable, then the money is worthless. And I'm waiting for that to happen because, the, you know, fiat currency is, is really as worthless and the people, people are really stressed out. And I think people are starting to wake up to this, hey, this money is quite worthless. I can't get ahead. The majority of people can't get ahead. I don't own any land. I don't own a house. I don't own a car. I don't own anything in my name. I don't have any assets in my name. It's all in my parents' name or it's all in somebody else's name. And I can't get ahead and it seems like I'm working and my life is not getting any better. This was not how it used to be, not for everybody. You know, it, it used to be you could save money, it would grow over time, the value would grow over time, your life would slowly get better, your kids would grow older, you would start buying other properties, you maybe could own a house, you could pay off your mortgage, own a house, own a land, then you would have a will, you would write a will, and leave something to somebody. This has been deterior deteriorating, and it's just natural. I mean, that's natural over time for good things to, um, to, to for good things to come to an end, and what's happened in the past is when the system becomes corrupted uh, war breaks out and that would re reset the monetary systems that would put uh, the, the money in the proper hands if, if you want, want to call it that um, but I don't know if that's going to happen anymore and because the system has really gotten very, very well at uh, controlling the people. And it, everything's pretty much done. So there's really no, nowhere to go but, but, um, 
down, you know. Um, I don't, I don't see in the near future anything getting better. I don't, I don't see, um, money becoming more valuable. Um, I don't see jobs, more jobs becoming more available. Um, I mean, if you're a regular guy and you say you worked in the trades, you were an electrical, you know, electrician, you were a plumber, you, you did maintenance work, and you're slowly seeing your opportunity, um, you're slowly seeing the jobs disappear, you're, you're slowly seeing money become worthless you're, you're getting used to inflation so every couple years prices of, of goods go up people have gotten used to that but they don't realize that it's not really normal and you know it's just you, you've seen a lot of stuff you know if you're just a regular person you can't get ahead you can't get ahead and I don't see it getting better. Now, the reason I don't is because people really have no social skills. People don't band together. Men don't get together with each other and form a tribe. Men don't get, get together and talk about issues anymore. Um, and that, that's what used to happen in the past was, was people like from the trades electricians, plumbers, carpenters, um, they would get together and form unions. And then as, as, as they formed unions, they could negotiate their salary. They could negotiate their, you know, their um, hourly wage. And it would be fair. That's in a true marketplace. That's what happens is you you can negotiate and you know you ask for thirty dollars an hour you negotiate a little bit with with the the employer with management and you would come to terms of I don't know twenty dollars an hour right well you you can't do that anymore because there's no unions and so you have no room to negotiate so when you go when a tradesman when an electrician or a plumber or whatever goes to negotiate his wage Actually, I'm talking more about maintenance maintenance people. If you're if you're an engineer or something or a technician, um, and you're working on a, lo a line, you can't negotiate a salary anymore. And the reason you can't do that is because there's just some Joe Blow right behind you who w is willing to work, you know, the same job for nothing. And so you, and because there's no union, because people don't get together anymore the reason they don't get together that's a long complicated story you can go to my website jbales.com I write about it um, but you know people the bottom line is people and, and men don't really get together and negotiate with management if you're if you're an electrician if you're a technician there's no unions anymore because the, the the management has lobbied and so you can't negotiate your salary anymore you can't negotiate your wages anymore price of the dollar has has slowly eroded people you have to remember that back during the beginning of the industrial revolution a dollar one US dollar you could buy a pack of cigarettes, you could get meat from the meat market, you could uh, get a room, you could, I mean, there's so many things that you could do in the old days for one dollar, one U.S. dollar, just to put it in perspective for you guys, that you can't do anymore, where a dollar is literally worthless, and, um, but, Believe it or not, it's the best system the world knows. That's not saying much. 
It's not saying much for, for mankind, really. But the dollar is worthless now. It's no longer backed up by something. That's not good. And um, that's why I say currency is nothing more than a means of control. It's nothing more than a means of control to, to control the people. Because if the people had enough and said, you know what? The hell with this money. This money, then it would be worthless. The money is only as valuable as the people perceive it to be. So if, if the currency, all of a sudden, you know, people say, hey, this, this is worthless and we're refusing to go along with this system. If enough people do that, then the system collapses and uh, the money becomes worthless. Now, also a lot, you know, the Industrial Revolution started in the 19th century, really, um, with, you know, Rockefeller and them. But before that, the majority of people, the majority of wealthy people were landowner, landowners. So the majority of, of wealthy people before the Industrial Revolution were landowners, right? And then Rockefeller came along and discovered oil. And then, uh, you know, the steel industry. Then you had the Industrial Revolution. And all of a sudden, those men became the uh, wealthiest people. So before the Industrial Revolution, landowners were wealthy. And then after the, the Industrial Revolution, it was the, you know industry people, the oil people, the, the steel people, you know, the railroad people, the people who controlled shipping lines. Now, now, um, it's the, uh, information people, the inf IT people, the people who control the digital hub. Um, there really is a fourth revol industrial revolution and that's the, uh, digital rev level revolution. So now these are the richest and wealthiest people. And uh, people really don't realize that, you know, income inequality is really um, as bad as it's probably ever been, you know. Um, and, and there's nobody that's really sounding the alarm. The only people who are sounding the alarm are people like me who are on YouTube and shit. Um, but we really do. I mean, money really controls us nowadays, whereas before money didn't control us as much. We weren't as controlled by money. Money was necessary, but it was not the end all. Money was not the bottom line. Um, people had dignity back then. People stood up for what they believed in back then. Um, duels, you know, men would get in disagreements and they would go out back and shoot each other. That was considered a right thing to do, you know. So we were much more freer. 100 and 150 years ago because money didn't control us as much and because money was valuable money is no longer valuable at least the US dollar is not valuable anymore uh, it's just simply fiat currency it's simply control not to mention you have the you have so many different um institutions that reinforce the control, that reinforce what the richest and most powerful people believe. So you have all these institutions that reinforce these talking points that really are only uh, really are only appli applicable to the wealthy, the most richest people in the world. Um, if you're just a regular guy, 
you really don't have a lot of choice anymore. You don't have a lot of options. And uh, it's it's money has become strictly a means of control. That's my belief. Um, now I'm not an economist, but you know I know enough, and um, I, I know that the, the, now the stock market that is not the economy. A lot of people think the stock market is the economy. That's not the economy. The economy is is actually goods and services, and um, that's really with with everyday life um, on a day to day um, means that that's really what the economy is. It's goods and services, and uh, if you can no longer negotiate, if there's this big entity that's in the way of you doing what you want, uh, then that's that, that's a shame, you know. And you have all these institutions now, and you have people who are so addicted to to what what the institutions tell them. That when they hear an opposing view, such as mine, they don't know how to react. And so, um, that that's really what's going on. Let me know what you guys think. Now, a lot of people who earn a, a more of an income, like the people who uh, are you know earn a hundred grand a year or hundred and fifty, they would disagree with me. They would stomp their feet and disagree but I'm I'm interested to know what you guys think so let me know in the comment section like comment share do you want to go back to before the industrial revolution when the dollar was worth something let me know thank you